Very quiet on the set. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Let's Potty Podcast with your host, Benji Weatherly. It's the podcast where you learn absolutely nothing. Looking for a new way to elevate your look? Let's Potty's newest sponsor, Ponto Footwear, makes the perfect addition to your wardrobe. Their Pacific Dress sneaker is responsibly made with recycled materials. And with its water-resistant and slip-resistant design, you'll be ready for anything. Use our code POTTY15 for 15% off on your order at pontofootwear.com. Welcome to Let's Potty, season two, number whatever. Um, Today we have a young, up-and-coming Fucking San Clemente local dog. We, the, 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 <laughs> the way people talked in San Clemente when we were young, Blair can attest, was fuck, dude. It was like it was like Santa Cruz and San Clemente kind of came together with yeah, this yeah, weird yeah, accent. Yeah, you yeah. guys don't have it. What happened? I don't know. I know. I think we still have it because we have friends in Santa Cruz and we still have that same like <laughs> that vibe. We same we like mesh together because they talk similar. Yep. We both we like both the towns talk like kind of just surfy like ratty. <laughs> that's, that's so perfect. Yeah, I know. It's it's fun to see um, this next generation. Um, how you guys support each other? Like uh, we during the drive through, we got to take Jet and Cole mm. and all these just unbelievable little nuggets of human beings. And uh, just seeing Chloe support them on the beach. I've been watching all the videos. You guys cheering each other on. Yeah. It's, I'm not going to say it's uh, like, you know, never been done, but it's pretty, pretty refreshing to see you guys supporting each other and seeing how good you're doing. Yeah. It's fun. Like having our whole crew and, and everyone being like really supportive now, you know? So it's like, if someone does bad, we're all going to be there for them, you know? And like, if you do good, everyone's going to be there. Everyone's going to like party with you. Everyone's going to like, yeah. Just have fun and just push each other. And everyone's surfing so good, too. So it's like every single session that we have, we're just like head to head pushing each other. And we just did a surf trip to Indo. So like going there with like four of my best friends who are all ripping. It yeah, was like, you guys so go? what we was went, that about? We went to Lakey Peak. Oh, best wave in the world. Yeah. I was psycho. with the WSL guys. We were talking at the surf ranch the other day. And they said, what do you think? would be something better for the finals. And I said, Lakey Peak. Yeah. And they were like, why? And I said, because low tide, high tide, wind, onshore, side shore, any size, two foot, 10 foot, you, it's equal. Mm-hmm. It's like equal mm-hmm. flavor. The only thing about lower is I think it's the most incredible ripping wave in the world, but it's a little inconsistent. You can get weird tides and you can get skunked. Yeah. That's the thing about like, hopefully that doesn't happen to any of our friends at the contest, but yeah. you, I have bad history out there where if I'm like, don't have my lineup right and a set comes and misses you, you might've lost the heat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's cool. Did you guys score Lakeys? We kind of scored, yeah. We sick. got periscopes and stuff, so it was, nice. it was pretty Yeah, sick. you got a lot of probably clips, yeah? Yeah, a couple clips. That's the only place I could get clips at the end of my career. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was because you get so many tries, right? You yeah. fall and be like 10 seconds later, you're already on another peak. Yeah, and Indo's just so perfect, so you're yeah. like, it's just like so easy to surf, too. So true. And uh, how's what's going on with you? You're on the QS, they call that? The yeah, Challenger? the CS, Challenger, Challenger Series. Challenger Series. How's yeah. that going? Uh, it's going good. I'm sitting third right now. So I called him the big brother. Okay. Little big brother yeah. is what we came up with today. I'm like, cause I, I always think of you as the older brother. Cause Griff's such a little nugget, mm-hmm. but how much older, <laughs> what, what are the ages difference in you guys? Uh, three years. It's three years. Yeah. He's yeah. an old piece of I, shit. <laughs> I didn't know that. Yeah. You know, how much younger? What are you? 20? 22. 22. And yeah, he's, he's what, 25. 25 now. Wow, that's yeah. crazy. So yeah, you are definitely a bigger human being than him. Uh, yeah, but it's got to be exciting to see it, and it does it, it must motivate you. Like I was, I was going to say, like the momentum guys, we had each other's back, but no, we didn't. Like no? we carried Kelly up and almost dropped, and I'm like, you know, <laughs> that was like the first carry up the beach. I think it might have been. The more I think about it, when we carried him up when he beat Machado, uh-huh. um, and that was never done. And now it's like everyone does it. If you win, you got to carry him. That's the thing. But we. I, we're jealous of each other. I got to be honest. Like, mm-hmm. you would, like Kelly won so many contests that we never even, like, he would win and be like, yeah, Kelly, and we get yeah. a free dinner out of it. We yeah. get a charge. <laughs> but uh, you guys really do support each other, and I think that's super cool because we, when we would push each other, it was for video parts, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was yeah. like, I just got to get a better part than him, you know? Like, Kalani was always m- my level. Yeah. And I would always be like, as long as I'm ahead of Kalani, I'm good. Yeah. So for you guys, it's competing. I mean, you guys are all good contest surfers nowadays. Yeah, well, it's actually funny that you say that because I feel like last year we we were all kind of like 
struggling to figure out contests and stuff. And I feel like we were so competitive with each other that it kind of became like, you could tell we were all like a little bit almost jealous or like if someone did good, like we were definitely, there was like parts of us that were like jealous, but then there was like parts of, it was like jealousy, but it was also like, I want to, I want to be doing what he's doing. Like, yeah, right I think now. it's healthy but, to be jealous. Yeah. But then it, we kind of like came together and realized that the support and like being just like truly happy for each other was like, important and and then being that way just takes it to another level totally right that's like the joe rogan effect yeah he like encourages all his friends to do shit and then now they're all on the same level it's pretty sick and like to see the level you guys are at too and i i told herbie on the podcast a little while ago i go yeah it's so cool that all the best surfers in california now come from san Clemente. he's like well truffles yeah and it's true i mean uh, at the end of the day you guys have the best way by far yeah you know and it's not many other kids uh can get that good in california if they're just surfing beach breaks it's yeah. really tough right? yeah but uh yeah we do we did have good luck on the drive through that day where you guys were like we're going to trussels oh like, no yeah, it was and you're like no it's firing yeah. I'm like no yeah it was it was firing. it was firing yeah. benji laid into a couple too oh huh? dude that fat but just <laughs> that no, butt was going up. I had a blown way. knee, blown shoulder, and I'm old as fuck. But it was cool to go on that trip with your bro and all those in Parker and everybody. Yeah, got to do another one. We're thinking about doing a woman's one coming up. Okay, just strictly woman. Just, just w girls and women. I don't know. Yeah. We just the girls are like you watched the X Games probably just yeah. recently. I mean, yeah. the girls are taking over. Yeah, not yeah, taking over, real. but they're on the level now. Yeah, like, it's pretty cool. And uh, yeah, we canceled for that. Uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah dude. what else is going on you guys making a rip curl movie with mick yeah, um, going on rip curl. no movies, no, no movies right now but i think they're just so like focused on this stuff and then yeah. but there was a rumor that they might bring like the search back so i saw uh you i only watch youtube i don't have cable anymore yeah they had the gabe mason mick trip somewhere mm -hmm. on that right where was that yeah i don't know Were you to like talk about south that? oz or something that thing was insane. it's insane how good that was and Surf videos used to take so much to get all that good eclipse. It was like two days, it seemed like. They were yeah. just killing it. The, yeah, yeah. That team is next level, and you're lucky to be on that team, yeah. and they're lucky to have you as well. Oh, sick. It's just you right. four humans, right? I mean, it's a small team now. Yeah, it's like small, but it's Tight. it's pretty big. Like the, Aust lot of the Australia side, like on the Challenger, on the Challenger series, there's like, there's like seven guys, oh, and they're wow. all like in the top 20 too. So it's like a lot of Rip Pro guys are there, and then, and then like the top – the top like guys on tour is kind of like smaller. I think I heard your name first from Mick. Actually, Mick was talking about you, and I go, "What's up with that kid?" And he's like, "Oh, he's going to be the next thing." And oh, wow. coming from Mick, I was like, "Oh no, who's that's this kid?" Cool. Yeah, right. it was really cool to hear that, and that's cool that he's your mentor and lives in San Clemente. Yeah, yeah. You know, hard is to get uh, one of those Aussie guys to stay here more than the comp. Yeah, <laughs> and now he lives here. That's so sick. Yeah, it's pretty sick. It's. Yeah. Mick's such a legend. He's like, such a legend. And then he also has that, like, kind of dry sense of humor, too. Huh. That, so he'll kind of, like, rip into you and roust you. Yeah. A little bit. And you're kind of like, oh, you're kind of mean. But then no, you're like, but no, that's I what love you need. it. I you love need you. it. And then have you ever seen Eugene? Like, have you ever seen it? Come I, on. I've seen it a couple yeah. of times. It's pretty classic. <laughs> For our use out there, that's the drinking Mick, which is hilarious. Yeah. And, like, he's, he's an old school uh, Aussie kid. Like, well, he... He, I got to see him grow up. He's a few years younger than me. And like I hung with Parco because of Billabong. Yeah. And he would always, he's a little rat. I mean, he was so white, white hair, white, uh, what do you call it, zinc. Yeah. And he was just a little surf rat. And he was, it, just to see who he's turned into is, and it's inspiring as a, as the goat of humans. Cause I, I think he's a better human than surfer. And that's hard to say. Right? Yeah. I mean, he's yeah, that he's good a of a human. Great human. He's a solid like, guy. And my friend is. Taylor still loves him. He goes, he always tries to pull the Mick card on us. He's like, because he's the one guy that wasn't in the momentum crew. He's like, well, I'm going to go with this trip with Mick. We're like, really? Like, well, what about us? He's like, fuck you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah Mick is, I mean, we, we almost got attacked by sharks too. Like, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> I think that, that story is still, right? That's the scariest thing ever. I oh, think yeah. people that don't surf always talk. The first thing they ask me is, how's that Mick Fanning guy? You know? Yeah. It's always that or oh, how's that Jaws wave? Those are the two things that non-surfers ask me. Yes, every day. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> well, it's funny when you go on YouTube and like look up like Mick Fanning surfing. Like always that. there's like four of those videos that pop up and you're like, oh, okay. <laughs> they all have like 5 million views. That's so classic. So did you guys go to school right here in San Clemente your whole life? This is it, right? Yeah, we went, um, we grew up like a little bit further away from the beach, like 20 minute drive. And, and then um, we went to a school called Truman Benedict and my dad was treat uh, a teacher there so he was both griffin and i's teacher Come and he on. was like my fifth grade teacher and then or no he was my fourth grade teacher and griffin's fifth grade teacher did you guys fail 
What no, were the grades we, like? We, I mean, we probably should have failed, but we, we got the little <laughs> like shoe shoe. <laughs> but That's it was so it was cool because like whenever the waves were fine, my dad would just be like, "Okay, like I'll bring home homework Holy? today. Like oh, you guys go sick. surf and then." And I hear you must be a proud papa right now. What's happening with all you guys? I mean, we're in their three story insane bachelor pad i don't even i want to call it a bachelor pad because you guys might have girlfriends but <laughs> i have i was here during the drive-thru i know there was no girlfriends then <laughs> but i got my co-host right here uh annie and she annie she is your age oh almost a little bit older by a year yeah i'm like griffin's age oh okay. yeah yeah how, nice. how old are you right now 24 i'm 24 i turn 25 next month happy birthday and she mm-hmm. always comes up with questions i never think of so what do you got going over there um, I mean, so I guess my first question would be like, I just want to know, like in this next year, like finishing up this season and like the next season, what are like your, just your goals for your career? Like, where do you see yourself career wise in Ooh. a season or two from now? Nice. Um, well, yeah, I'm sitting like third, so I'm like pretty close to qualifying right now. So for my f- main goal right now is to qualify for the CT. How and many do they take into the they CT? They take 10. On your third right now? Yeah. And it ends, yes. just for her to know, because I think, it doesn't end at uh, November? Uh, October, in Brazil. Oh, it doesn't end at... Tri- uh, no more Wild Hawaii. Land. What do you call that contest now? Reef? Holly- what was Holly-Eva? Holly-Eva nowadays? It's called the Reef Contest. It was like, just the Holly. But no more Holly at all? Yeah, no more Holly What? Yeah. That was my favorite contest. Yeah. So now it ends in Brazil in October. Yeah. So you're not at the middle of your season, you're at the end. Uh, this is one, two, one month, two months. Yeah, there's two more contests. Two more contests. Yeah. And your third. Yeah. Let's go. So yeah. this is, he's in right in the pecking order. Yeah. Do so you have, is there people behind you that are really close in points? Um. Yeah. There's like everyone behind me is like all like pretty close. Um. But then there's like Jet and Kate are both sitting 10 and 11. So Cole's already qualified. Did Cole qualify? Cole's qualified Sick. after like the fourth contest. That's and so then cool. I'm sitting third and then Cade's 10th and Jet's 11th. No way, that's, that's so like, cool. Hopefully, you guys the, all make it. Yeah, that would be pretty sick. Then you guys beat Griff. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> what if you guys all made the final, uh, like, in a couple of years? Oh, wouldn't, that just be, wouldn't that be nuts yeah. if all five of you guys are just sitting in the finals and all of Brazil has to, wouldn't be able to come? <laughs> no, it's going to be fun to watch Brazil against California, though, because they usually have the biggest crew down there for mm. their boys. Yeah, huge. You know, and, and now we're finally maybe going to have as many fans i hope twice as many if you think about it yeah Big, i hope so working on it i hope so yeah. yeah blair on the computer over there working on yeah, it blair. sending out dms <laughs> sliding them in um, yeah i think it should be pretty sick though i hope like i think a lot of the well we had like a party last night like handing out the hats and like so many people showed up so it was pretty What's cool the yin and the yang for uh Is there something behind that i don't know what i think that about blair? Balance. balance balance nice yin Balancing. and yang yeah yeah that's right Fun yeah. and strict. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I just went in your ice bath, and that's the strict part. <laughs> you know what's funny about that thing? It's, it, the pain sucks, but it feels good. It's mm-hmm. the part of being able to pull it off. Yeah, I think yeah. it's like I came up here, and I almost started bragging. Like, I instantly <laughs> got, like, kind of a little bit of ego from it. I'm like, like I did two minutes. <laughs> and, like, eyes were all bulging like I was a full-on, like, dick. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but it is. It's, it's insane. I think I should have one of those for the morning dip. Like, yeah. right when you wake up and just be like, Fuck coffee. Yeah, know? it's like getting coffee just like shot into shot your veins. In your veins yeah. <laughs> yeah, these guys got a gym in the back. They got a sauna. It's this new generation is so much more on it. We yeah. would have like these little Japanese little pads that went like this. Oh, yeah. We thought they, you remember those Blair? little <laughs> ultrasound things? And we're like, well, this is really working. It's like we didn't know anything about saunas and stuff. We blew it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I feel like that all that stuff's kind of like. Just started like trending, yeah. you know. Like I feel Joe like Rogan, it's like, you motherfucker. Yeah, I feel like that. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's cool to see. I mean, I see Griff doing. He's showing off with all these band workouts and stuff. Mm, yeah, it's pretty cool. I mean, it must be working, huh? Yeah, Jeez. it's definitely working. Yeah, and how's this electric bike thing done to the crowds down at Lowers? Now that no one um, has to walk, <laughs> it's like good and bad. Like yeah. it's the crowd definitely. It you know it's easier for guys to get down there, but it's like. It's we're lucky enough to like live here and we can get our waves. Yeah, but but it's it's actually funny to see it because all the kids will ride down on their electric bikes and we were talking about it yesterday and we we're like fuck we're so lucky to not grow up with them because we'd yeah. go down and we'd be like all right pick us up at four mm-hmm. and then we would like call pizza to the top when we're hungry and we wouldn't you know like if the waves were bad we just had to stay till yeah. four but if these groms if they're like 
all the waves suck. They just ride up. They'll surf That's for like 30 minutes. Like, oh, I could just ride my bike up. So we're and like, I, oh, we're lucky. I saw the other day in Encinitas because it's the bike. I thought San Clemente was a back, an electric bike capital. Encinitas might be. And this kid, I, I see him every day. And this kid had pajamas on. Yeah. A helmet that was not on. It was like this, yeah. like strapped <laughs> like this, like he didn't give a fuck. In pajamas. And yeah. he was going to check the waves. And I'm like, they don't even put clothes on anymore. Like, they're so lazy that they just get out of bed. They're like, Meh. Like, it's just, nobody. <laughs> <laughs> Soon they're just going to be naked, like just out of bed. Like they don't even put pajamas on because yeah. it's too hard to put pajamas. Like, ah, I don't want to put a thing yeah. on. But uh, yeah, it's good and bad, but it sure helps if you're old. Like, it's, uh, it's, no, it's definitely like, <laughs> it, they're fun too. Kalani like, Rob is no fun. joke on that thing. Yeah. He's got like, I opened his garage the other day when did his podcast. He's got like six of those things. It's yeah. insane. Yeah. I f we're, we're like right behind him. You too, have probably right? a ton. <laughs> So yeah. your your boards are not the same as Griff, so you never swap boards and do that kind of shit like me and my brother used to do? Mm, we were for a little bit when I was kind of, like, growing, and he was kind of, like, done growing. Mm -hmm. you know, I was kind of coming up. The boards are bigger now. Yeah, getting, yeah, my boards are bigger, but, like, I was, I, like, when I was younger and I was smaller, I would ride his boards a lot. Yeah. Like, a lot of my good boards were his boards. And then, and then even coming up, like, changing my, like, going to bigger boards and getting more volume in, in the boards – um, I would ride like Chloe's boards when my, when I'd have like adjustments. I love Chloe supporting all this stuff during, is he injured? Is that what happened? Uh, Did he get a bad injury? No, 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 he's good. And he had just had a baby and stuff yeah, like he's, that. Yeah. He's having, was like, so cool like to see him supporting you guys. That to me is, is a true sign of good character. Yeah. Like he's, it, he seems like he's really back to you guys through this whole thing. Yeah. For and sure. he was like the number one Cali surfer for a while there for a bit. Yeah, you know? I know. First guy to ever qualify the Olympics, I think. Right. Yeah. So it's cool to see him, all you guys. And that's a good example for all you guys to, you know, see. Oh, for sure. So that's I cool. mean, he's definitely, like, rallied all of us it together. Seems like you know? it, right? like, he's, like, kind of like your guys. Not a coach, but, like, your mentor, right? Yeah, yeah. And it's it's just, like, that's why, like, San Clemente, I feel like, is going so strong because, like, there's, like, so many generations, you know? There's, like, the old older generation, then it keeps going, you know? Like, yeah. it keeps going, and then there's brother, and then Griffin, and now us, and then there's, like, younger kids coming up, so it's... Yeah, it's pretty true. sick. Yeah, it's really cool to see because I our generation was like Shane Bashan was the older guy, and then you know they, it it really has just kept going. Mm -hmm. It's insane to watch the progression. Yeah, now you guys are the best surfers in the world. It's fucking dope. Yeah, <laughs> what else do you got over Where there? Where can it be? Um, so I'd love to also just take it back about two months ago to the U.S. Open because mm -hmm. I know this year you had a really solid finish. Mm -hmm. So what was like? What was the strategy? What was going through your head? Like. That whole time because that's a lot of rounds to just keep surfing and keep progressing and it's a lot that's a massive crowd yeah yeah the u.s open was sick because like i've done it a couple of times i've never really done too well and i've like the last couple of years i've watched griffin win and get second there and third and stuff and like been in his corner and like been like cheering him on and like feeling that energy and i was like fuck that's like the sickest thing ever that he gets to do that with at home with everyone so then i was Going there, I was kind of just like, it's like middle of the year, I had one result, and I was like, fuck, all right, I need, like, another result. So I was kind of thinking just, like, let's just, like, try and surf this contest like it's the last contest I'll ever do, and, like, try to just surf every heat like it was, like, a smart heat, you know, just trying to surf it like, all right, like, if this was the last heat of my life, like, I got to surf it smart, you know? So I was just kind of trying to focus on that, and then I had all my friends and family there, so it was just, like, I was just, like, kind of felt just, like, grateful for everyone and just like being in that moment. So I felt like being feeling that way just was pretty cool. And it was just like a special event. And then we got to like get second and then come back and have a little party. So, oh, yeah. so, it was so sick. sick. Yeah. It's pretty that fun. was a cool event. Surfing good too. Oh, thank for you. Huntington, it's so hard to really excel as far as progression and like mm. do what you want. Yeah. You're just lucky if you get a backside floater sometimes. Yeah. yeah. So to see you get a couple of those rights and actually get combos and, it was, it was fun to watch. Oh, it was thanks. fun to watch because I know you were proud of the f the surfing you did instead of just mm. making heats. Yeah. Thanks. And who was it? Was it the, um, what was the Goofy Footers kid's name that used to date my niece? Who won? was it? Nolan? Nolan. Or no. Or e did Nolan Eli won? won. Oh, Eli won. Eli oh, won. Hanneman. And then, Sorry. Yeah. Hanneman. I knew it was one of those little nuggets. Yeah. A little nugget. He's such a good little nugget He's too. He's an but, nugget. Uh, Nolan did a, a pretty good, right? Yeah he, yeah, he he was in the semis with me. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So all you guys, I mean, that's a young little crew. You know my yeah. niece, Sophie. She dates Lego. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. She, that was yeah, one of yeah, her first she, boyfriends yeah, is yeah. Nolan. He's such a good, he's her, 
his parents are really good friends with my sister still. Okay. Yeah, and he's a, it's good to see him doing well too. Yeah, he was a good amateur surfer. Yeah, man. he's gnarly. Oh, he's gnarly. He's been ripping. And is he almost qualifying? He's right there. I think he's like 13th or something, but he's so Brazil's on. He missed the first two events from injury. Uh, I think he was kind of healing his hip and then he didn't make it through the regionals, but he would have got in from his seed last year, but he forgot to sign up, I think. Oh, no. So he. <laughs> Is that still a thing? Yeah. And then he <laughs> so went to stupid. Bolito and got a quarters. Sick. And then he went to the US Open and got a semi. So he only has two events and then they, they take top four. So he has these next two events to count. You know? And where's the continents in Brazil? Sacarema. Okay. And there's two of them? Uh, no, there's one in Portugal. Oh, or in Portugal. We, it's at Aracera. Oh, no. I just went R- to Aracera two weeks ago. That way is a little tricky. It's tricky. It's yeah. tricky. It's like yeah. a poor man's bells yeah, yeah, on fully. a bad day. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, that one's a tough little wave there. There's such good waves right next to it, too. I know. Fuck. I know. Um, but that's cool. So that's before Brazil or after? So the last contest is Portugal? Uh, no, it's before Brazil. We go to, it starts the 2nd, October 2nd, and then we fly over to... Soccer Brazil right. around like the 13th and then that finishes around like wow. the so you got 23. two pretty tricky waves but yeah. then again you just did good at Huntington and that's yeah. basically Sacarena I mean yeah. it's actually Sacarena can get really good though yeah hollow and crazy barrels. yeah 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 fun it's gonna be exciting to watch that because even Nolan's got an outside chance right yeah yeah I mean what if they all top 10 were all you guys from Cal I mean it could be Cole it could be oh it is Cole and then Jet what was your other friend's name that you said? Cade. Was Cade. I don't know if I know him. What's the, his name? The big guy. Who, that big kid, old. Yeah. He's the, in it? Yeah. Epic. He's, I love how big he is. Yeah. So I was telling these kids, or telling these guys earlier that when, like, Blair knows this, when I grew up, 5'8 was, like, the ideal fit, height. Like, that was a little, the guys like Slater and Seb would say they're 5'11 and shit, but you're like, come on, man. Mm-hmm. Like, you're 5'8. And, uh, and I was so tall, I'd try to, I would stand around everybody and like lean down to try to be short. Yeah. And now I'd stand next to you guys. I'm like, Hey, yeah, I yeah, can yeah. stand tall here. And he's what? Six, four, man. He's got to be up there. Yeah. He's like, I think he's like six, three. And then our other, other buddy Cole, who Cole qualified is, is like, he's like a giant. Dude, like, I think he might that. be the biggest surfer. Yeah, maybe. Ever, uh, yeah, like, you know, let me see. Jordy might be bigger than me. Right? Jordy, six, three, maybe. Yeah. Jordy. I maybe think they're not. probably similar. Maybe he when has a Jordy, long neck. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but six. What is Cole? Six four. At least. Yeah, he's like six four, but he's Dude, like his air. He's just like gnarly. a fucking. He's a tank. I love watching that kid surf too. Yeah, he it's old school and new school together. Yeah, it's pretty sick. Well, there you go, That's man. It. Let's go. We're gonna have a. Let's go, freaking Crosby hats. Hopefully, yeah. at the end in Brazil, I'll fly to Brazil if you know what I mean. Yeah, <laughs> I'll go on the beach there and cheer you on. You get, I'll get mugged. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's dope. Is there any Brazilian guys that are right on the cusp too that you can think of? Um, they're already on the CT. They don't even kid yourself. Yeah, they, yeah. Uh, no, there? there's like Michael Rodriguez and mm-hmm. like Mateus Hurdy. Most of them are pretty much the top guys. I like now. Yeah, I feel like I might be forgetting someone else, but but it's mainly some Cali action, which is yeah, it's kind of Brazil and Cali right now. Yeah, if you really think about yeah, it. Yeah, and right? Aussies. Not and too some, many though, right? How many Aussies you got? Yeah. Ethan there, is gonna surf. I heard. Yeah, he's That's been crazy. surfing. He's been surfing. So just so you, do you know anything about Ethan? He just yeah, broke he, his back, right? Yeah. I think he like fractured, fractured his back. vertebrae or something. That's a scary injury, it but is scary. Dude, you don't want to lose that guy on tour. That guy hits smooth as butter. I know. Fuck. So fun to watch this new generation because it's it's my surfing that I love, power, cars, and everything, but then freaking mean airs too. Yeah. Ethan's not the best airless, but he still does some mean airs. Yeah, he like, does a it's not his surfing. it's not his go to, but he can do it. Yeah. Sure. But I think, honestly, I think the judging criteria now is almost going back to, like, old school surfing and just, like, clean yeah. surfing. Fleet won it with it just carbs like. last year, yeah? Yeah, like all, pretty all much. All those biggest scores were carbs. Yeah, pretty much. And dude, Griff, man. Some of these clips, I, I, I this sounds like me, but I'm, I'm like, kind <laughs> of, like, I'm su- superstitious. And all these clips I'm watching in the last week or two, I'm like, don't, you, don't waste it. Like, yeah, you know yeah, I mean? yeah, like, yeah. Like, some of my best clips, I'm always like, I, I better save that shit. <laughs> yeah. And dude, some of those clips, man, I got so much love for his surfing right now. It's so fun to watch. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's fun. It, it must push you big time because you're not going to let your brother be better than you. For sure. <laughs> That's the biggest motivation in the world man andy bruce i mean my brother helped me get to where i was no matter what yeah kelly all the best guys had a brother pushing them hob goods Mm -hmm. and you're just you can't let them do something without you yeah right yeah especially three years that's exactly kind of the age of like sean and uh slater and me my brother andy and bruce were about uh, no actually andy and bruce were like a year apart yeah blair i don't know maybe two years apart but yeah it's good three years is good for you because then you have 
you know, you make up time quicker than they did. Cause yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. you know, it's pretty dope. Yeah. It's but, funny. The brother, the brother, like tension is, I saw him so, at the U S open cheering though. Yeah. No, he's like, was he, he in it? No, he wasn't, but he was coaching. He was coaching. He was coaching me and jet sick. And he was like all in. He actually was like, a oh, gnarly, he, he was a gnarly crazy. coach. He must have been so, so happy for you, man. Yeah. I think he's pretty psyched. I yeah. would be stoked. Especially cause I you're like I said, dude, we're, we're, we love good surfing. At the yeah. end of the day, making a heat with shitty surfing is like, eh. yeah. But if you're ripping, it feels way better. Yeah, yeah. You know? Seriously, and those clips are. I like those clips. Yeah, especially the QS is such a funny thing too, because it's like, it's like the way sometimes the waves aren't always the best, so you, you're so you're gonna have like some shitty heats yeah. that you're gonna make, and you just it's like you need to just yeah get almost have it. to just like get ugly to get to the tour to totally. like get pretty again. You're hundred <laughs> percent agree. It's like the Chopa. <laughs> They're going to have the qualifying for the Olympics, and then it's Chopa. It's like, you should qualify at Chopa. For yeah, the Chopa yeah, 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 seriously. Some kids are going to win and, and be in the contest that serves two-foot crappy Japan or something. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah, 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 fully. <laughs> Take it off with 20-foot ferals. Fully. Oh, that'd be so cool if the Olympics are like 10-foot Chopes. Oh, oh be the dopest. It would be sick. Did he, Is I never even saw, who's our Americans on the team? Is uh, it done? Griffin and John. Really? So they, yeah. they did qualify right John? Right? Yeah, result? Griffin and John. Ooh, that's a good team. It's a good team, huh? Hopefully, uh, Gabe just misses out again. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's he's out. He, is he he's not in it? Well, because Fleep is, in. is in, and then Jow. Oh no! Yeah. Oh no! So that's that's gives us Griff might get a medal. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I I got so much respect for Gabe surfing. Yeah. It's so unbelievable the what he does. I mean, just it's insane. Like he, we, me and Kelly had dinner the other night, and we were talking about. With, you know, all the guys were talking about the best surfers and done this. And I said, well, Gabe's the best con surfer of all time. And Kelly's like, he is. Yeah. And then he yeah. told me why. He took over the conversation. He goes, well, he won his first contest he ever surfed in when he was 17. He won his second or third contest he ever entered. And he started telling all his results. And I was like, see? And I was like, I didn't know all that. But I know that he's he doesn't have a bad heat. I've yeah, never seen him have all the heat like me. <laughs> where he goes out and he gets like seven total points you know what I mean? yeah. it's always 16 or 17 points he lost to jack at chopu and it was literally still had like 16 points yeah yeah right? yeah, yeah you have Something to like that. literally beat him like yeah. oh yeah insane yeah and what do you get to go on trips with him and go on any rip curl trips yet mm, i haven't yet but i've been at like the rip curl house in hawaii when he's there he's got a presence to him huh Fuck yeah. yeah, yeah, and then I've been I've been there when he's like going for titles, and that's pretty sick because he'll like come, he'll like in between his heats, he'll go upstairs and like lock in, and then he'll come down, and it's just like he's just like Beast so mode. locked in. He got his earbuds in, and he's just like you look at him, and he's just like. Phew. Dude, that guy is a beast mode for sure. Yeah, and he's got his bodyguards, and he's just like pinning just straight to grab oh. his jersey, bang out there. That's fun to watch. It's like Kelly in his heyday. Yeah, he was yeah, just like yeah. it was like he was levitating and just like I'll murder everyone right now. <laughs> so and he's the closest thing to Kelly of all time for sure. I think. Yeah. You know, John is the best free surfer and freakishly talented, but he's not psycho when it comes to contests. He's just so talented. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Gabe, there's something about him. If he was, if he was ever a coach, oh my god, you mm. imagine he just stare at the kid and the kid's like, "I'm gonna win. I promise. I swear to God, don't kill me." Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it's fun to watch where surfing's come. I, I was watching some old clip on uh, as da Damon Hardman. No um, disrespect to Damon Hardman because he was a fucking great surfer. But the level from when he won a world title to now is it's it would be impossible to fathom if Gabe jumped in a heat in nineteen whatever that was in the eighties. Yeah, yeah. It's so cool to see how far it's come. And we were at that Herbie Fletcher interview and just hearing all the levels from the fifth like his fifties, sixties, seventies, all those years. It must be so cool for him to go down to the Trussell's finals now and be like, this is where we're at? Like, mm. what the hell? Yeah, yeah. Kids are ripping. Yeah. Like, <laughs> and then the WSL judge is like, that's a seven. Like, yeah. <laughs> that was a 10. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> we were even talking about that at uh, the ranch the other day. Kelly and I were fucking around, and this wave, um, his brother-in-law, I would call him Jason Miller, ripped this wave. Yeah. And I, and I go, Kelly, what do you think? WSL is 7 2? <laughs> like, <laughs> it, would, it should have been a 10, but we we're like, and he's just looking and said, WSL, that's like a 5. <laughs> <laughs> so gnarly watching it those is, guys judge. Oh, fuck. It is any, crazy. Any more over there? I'm like, cool. Yeah, of course, I got more. Cool. Um, so I'd say, take me back through the early days. Like, what made you be like, yeah, I'm, I'm going to surf forever? Oh. Because you had both parents that had like normal jobs. Yeah, what year did you? I mean, yeah. well, how old were you guys when you started? Um, well, my dad had a surf camp. My mom and dad had a surf camp since we were born. They were doing surf camp. So we kind of grew up at the beach, like doing that. 
Um, so yeah, we just kind of grew up at the beach as just little like beach rats. Like we were there in our diaper. Like my dad has a photo of me like on a board, like in my diapers and like, I don't know, like probably like two or something. So like we kind of grew up at the beach and then found our love for surfing there. And then Griffin was three years older and he was kind of more into it than I was. So he was like really getting into it. And then I was kind of like slowly kind of getting into it. And I, when I was younger, I was never really like too like excited to surf, you know, like I'd, they would always kind of, my dad and Griffin would always drag me to go surf. And I'd kind of be like, oh, I don't know. Like, I just want to hang with my friends in the street and play like kick the can or whatever, you know? So, <laughs> so then, then I was like, started doing contests and I hated losing, you know, cause I had that competitiveness in me and I like hated losing. So I had, um, I remember like a clear moment when I was, there's like the nationals at lowers and I lost like first heat. And I remember Griffin like came up to me and I was like super pissed because I lost. And then he told me like, he's like, if you want to, if you want to like be a surfer, then you have to start surfing like way more. So I remember like that summer I surfed for like four hours every day. And then, and then like, that was like, I remember that was kind of like the switch. And then when I started like surfing a lot, I was like, okay, I love this. Like, I want to just, I want to like be a pro. Yeah. So that's kind of like how I started to get into it. That's so sick. I mean, yeah. it helps when you see yourself getting better. That motivates yeah. you to do it even more. Yeah. Were you guys filming at a young age too? Pops filming you guys? Yeah. My dad always had the camera and he yeah. would film. And then my mom was like, somehow like she doesn't surf, but somehow she always knew like technique like you know she Your just mom had, did? yeah she had sick. this weird just like mom eye about it like <laughs> like she was pretty smart so she would like always be telling us to work on things and we'd be like you don't know mom and then we'd go work on it and be like okay that's <laughs> you know? insane yeah it's pretty that's funny so cool it's pretty funny did she surf no she didn't but she, but just, she would like technique. she like i think she did like uh like ballet when she was younger so she kind of had like sort of an eye for it like that's so cool like i remember she would tell griffin like griffin what used to have like a stink bug but you know and she'd be like all right you gotta like get lower and like not have that you know like just that's like so tuck cool. your knee in a little more like thanks just, mom yeah <laughs> that's so cool so yeah it was a kind of like a funny and my dad was like super just like he was just stoked you know just film us and never really like had anything to say he's just like this happy dad and he's always surfed right yeah and he's always surfed so is he's, he a shortboarder yeah Sick. yeah so he's he's in mean shape, man. Yeah, dude, yeah I mean he's insane. a grom. He like surfs lowers more than we do, especially like COVID times. He was doing online, so he would like he would like teach the kids on Zoom and then go surf lowers all day. <laughs> and that was like the program every day. He must be so proud of you guys, man. That must be the coolest thing, yeah. Just to see you guys thriving at something that he loves and in the town that he loves, and yeah. um, so so cool for him. Yeah, is. Uh, What's the logo for the shirts? What do you got? Go Griff. What is this? A book? That's a little Hume book. A Hume book? Yeah. Oh, right. The cologne stuff? Yeah. A little just like, let's go Griff. Let's go. You know, a little hype up. That's cute. Yeah. But um, yeah, I think we got some shirts made and some hats and hopefully the whole beach. I mean, like a shaka hand or anything like yeah, that. Yeah. What do you guys got? Let's no. Go there. What do you got? Uh, we got, you know, we're getting, we're getting those, uh, Thunder clappers at like uh -huh. hockey games that yeah, you clap yeah, yeah. together. That'd so we cool. got like a bunch of those made. So it's going to be, we're going to be doing that. I think my dad got some like cowbells and some like horns. I, I just, your dad just told me and I didn't know it's a one day contest. Yeah. That's, un that's insane. Yeah. That, it's kind of amazing. It should always be that. It's kind of <laughs> sick. Yeah. But uh, so the first heat is going to be the five and four go against each other. Yeah. Only one heat, right? Yeah, one heat. That's so gnarly. Probably like 45 minutes. I know, it's crazy. should be three heats for all of them. I know, that's what I was kind of right? thinking too. You finally make it, you know, like one heat to make it. And then Griff's only has one heat in the semis. And then if he makes that, he gets three heats. Yeah, right? yeah. Oof. That's sick. Who's gonna be three? Um, Ethan. Ethan? Yeah. Oof. I hope Ethan's hip's okay, but let's get real. Let's go, <laughs> But you never know, because the other guy could take Ethan out, right? Yeah. Four and three. Yeah, because yeah. it's Jow and Jack, and then whoever makes that goes right. against Ethan. Wow, fun. I might even have to just get one of these electric bikes and come watch you this gotta, live. I got to watch it you live. You got to get down I just want to feel the hype of all you guys screaming and stuff. It's going to be sick. Yeah, it's going to be psycho. I know, and it's like last year when he lost with that last wave. Mm. I was so heartbroken for little buddy, but I think it was good. Yeah, it was yeah. good. I think this year how he's done, and it's just like Leo when he didn't make the qualifying last year. He said on camera, and I t I called him because uh, I heard him say what all good athletes always would say, and I never really get attached to. Yeah, when he goes, 
you know what? I'm just looking forward to the process. Mm. He's like, yeah, yeah, that's up. And he was like, kind of like a Hawaiian, like, what's up? Yeah, what's up? Yeah. He was like pissed, <laughs> but you could tell he wasn't mad. He knew what he needed to do. Yeah. And then he came out and won the fucking Challenger yeah, Series. Yeah, so and I was like, that's what I'm talking about. And it seemed like Griff did that. He like didn't make it. And he's like, okay, hold my beer. I'm yeah, fucking coming yeah, yeah. hot. Like, and he, he killed he, it. Got just, second. Yeah. That's yeah, insane. Yeah, that's so pretty sick. You get to see firsthand what it takes to do what you want to do with your life from your little brother or little big brother. Yeah. Keep doing that. Little guy. Um, <laughs> and it's it's going to be cool to see it happen to you. I mean, just keep your head down. It's going to happen. Yeah. Yeah. It's funny how, that, you know, it's like easy to get bummed on things when you're like, it might be like a shitty situation, but like sometimes it's like there's like a good in it. Yeah, know? there is. Yeah. You're, you learn the most from losing. Yeah. For real. Yeah. And then, you know, like for me, it was always like, oh, I'm going on a surf trip. And I would always use that as my go away instead of going, I'm going to come back harder. I just never attached myself to competing because it was always in shitty waves. We yeah. didn't get in the QS, my generation. Holy shit. It was Newcastle. Like yeah. One of the yeah. best ones. Yeah. You know, it was always these shitty beach breaks. And then when they started going to good ways, I'm like, really? Like a J Bay, I'd made the finals in a QS and stuff oh, no because way. it was J Bay. Yeah. You yeah. Know? It was yeah. not hard yeah. for me. But as soon as it was in the Uba Tuba. I was like, here we go. Yeah, and seriously. Brazilian guy's doing airs over my face and cutting me off and, and uh, paddle and battles. The, the boy is back in the day, too. So like to- I told her that today when we were at Herbie's thing. I, it was this long gun. And I go, that's how we used to ride shortboard. Yeah, yeah. Just long, skinny nightmares. And you try to do an air and you'd be like, I made it. Instead of now, you're like, <laughs> so funny. It's funny, though, because like when I watch like footage to get excited to go surf, like I usually go... And watch like old school clips of like you guys like back in the day, and like I love watching that surfing because I I just think the boards back then look sick because they're is, longer, a yeah. little bit narrower. Like they just look super. I know that and footage cool. still like, holds up. I watched campaign the other day. Oh, um, someone sent me a clips or something. Oh, I put it on my Instagram. That's what it was. Yeah. And I was like, damn, I it's the surfing still holds up a little bit, you know? Like I like straight airs too. Yeah. I'm an old school person. I love straight airs. And not many people do them now. When they do, I get so happy. I'm like, yeah. yes. Especially when they use it as a transfer. Cause I always mm. thought it was like like vert skating. When you go up and go down and get speed to go do another turn. Uh-huh. When you do a rotation, it always kind of stops your mo- motivation. I mean, f- I'm I'm only saying this because I wasn't good at it. <laughs> I mean, they're amazing. The way freaking griff goes backwards now down the line it's like come on now. yeah what are yeah. we doing here yeah it's so good yeah it's pretty tough he's an ambi turner <laughs> a what he's an ambi turner meaning like you can see what oh, oh, yeah. oh, okay. <laughs> what do you got over there i, I like your questions because they're so off the cusp yeah i mean i'd say cause i know you just said you really like watching older surfing mm. so like who specifically would be like who do you try to emulate? Like who do you draw inspiration from? And you have a little bit of McFanning in you and stuff. I, I've definitely watched a lot of McFanning. Like I remember, like when I was like sixteen or something, I'd have I'd like watch McFanning and then I'd like be in my room like trying to like practice Throw pizzas, that. Yeah, Throw like pizzas. like lift up my back arm and yeah. like do that form carve. But like I watched a lot of him and then like I've gone through like phases of like watching a lot of him and then like. Andy and Joel and stuff, and then and then just watching all like the Taylor Steele movies too. I've watched like so many of those ones. It's pretty cool. I I just couldn't believe I went with Kelly. I think it was last weekend we went. No, it was last Monday. He's still so good at surfing. Like, it's it's so up, yeah. unbelievable, man. He's fifty one. I mean, how old your dad? Uh, fifty five. He's almost 56. your dad's age, and I I'm know, not kidding. The best I've seen in Surf of the Ranch. I mean, I put a clip on Instagram because I was like, is this really this still going on? Yeah. Like, he's so fucking good at surfing still. And it's it's such a testament to if you eat healthy and you're just that much of a psychopath. I mean, he uh, Herbie said he's, he was his first sponsor. I keep bringing up this podcast because I, I, I love the story of surfing. Yeah. I like the history of surfing because it's such a it's a small little community. Mm-hmm. So when you you know what it is and he, I got to ask him all the questions and. He's like, I was Kelly's first sponsor. And he goes, you know why I sponsor him? Because he never came in. He never came in. He went surfing and surf all day. Yeah. And it's so true. He doesn't come in. Even nowadays, he surfs two or three times a day. And that's a lot for a 51-year-old. Yeah. And uh, that's what it is. It's like you want to. You have to want to surf all day to be the best. For sure. Yeah. Yeah. And it's a lot. You know how hard surfing it, is. It yeah. takes it out of you when you're 30, 40, and they're 50. If you want to go surf every day, it takes a lot. Yeah, hard. yeah. I know. It's funny. Like, I feel like all like a lot of the kids growing up probably are thinking like training like you got to yeah. train a bunch but like i swear Surfing. like 
if you just surf a lot, like that's how you learn the most, you know? That's what Kelly always says to people. They're always like, there was a time where Kelly and, and Andy were accused of steroids, right? And they were like, Kelly does steroids. I've heard and all this stuff. And I'm like, hey, wait, you, you have no idea how much he doesn't take steroids. He just surfs. And he tells people, I just surf. We yeah. went to a gym when we were kids in Florida. And we both were like on a treadmill or something. And he looks at me. He's like, what are we fucking doing? He's like, let's get the fuck out of here. And we <laughs> laughed because he's like, I just surf. And, and he's in perfect shape because of it. But just like you said, he gets all of his, the, the reason why his, his ability is so good is because he's in the ocean all day. Yeah. Reading waves is the hardest thing. It's, yeah, Being in it's position, crazy. that's harder than working out. Yeah. So yeah, like getting notes, especially lowers. You guys paddle around everybody because you know exactly what rock and like, Cordell, Cordell gave me, sorry, Cordell, he gave me the lineup off those poles oh, and yeah, shit. Yeah. And as soon as he did that, I was like, oh, fuck, I love this way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you can fly in the poles up and then he'd go left and you go right. Corey yeah. always has the left. Is yeah. he still sir? Yeah, yeah, I saw him yesterday. Yeah, and he just, he's out, he has those giant arms and he, when I see him paddling from the outside, I just go right next to him and go right. Yeah, you know? yeah, that's the way. Dude, that's Trestle's crowd, if you don't know, it's like, you know what's like is Snapper. Mm. When you go out with Joel and Mick, I would be in that current paddling for hours and I'd see him running up the beach and going up to the outside, catching a wave, coming around. And I'm like, oh, I'm doing it wrong, huh? Yeah, and I'm like, yeah, yeah. You don't paddle, Dick. You run around, jump <laughs> off the rock, and you get inside of everybody. And it's like it lowers when you guys surf every set as you guys, you guys are all boop. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So cool. I, yeah. Snapper is definitely on another level. Yeah, it's <laughs> a hard wave to catch waves, yeah, man. It's Fuck. pretty tapped. In. But you're with the right guys. Like now, it sounded like at the US Open, you kind of adapted some kind of strategy that's working so it's like yeah. you go back to that in brazil or excuse yeah. me portugal yeah for sure and go back to that feeling of whatever worked at that time that you were talking about right yeah um do you listen to music do you work yeah out? i definitely do you do like the fizzle ball yeah anything? i mean like like before like during events like in between heats or just like on a regular day or um i mean primarily in contests yeah probably yeah, I mean, well, usually around contests, like, it's kind of funny because it's, like, you're dealing with so many people and so many guys, like, mm -hmm. there, and they're, we're all trying to get waves, so everyone's trying to be, like, selfish, and it's easy to, like, you know, someone's in the water, and you're both fighting for a wave, so it's easy to be, like, fuck this guy, you know, and, like, this guy is annoying in the water, but then you, like, end up talking to them, and they're actually, like, really cool, mm -hmm. so it's, like, you can, you almost, like, will judge them for how they are in the water, but then they're, like, a really cool person, you know, so... Um, I think, like, going to these events and, like, just trying not to, like, fall into that trap of, like, kind of, like, almost feeling, like, negative thoughts of, on people. And because I feel like whenever I used to kind of be like that and it would kind of, like, carry with me and I would be heavy. But then I started, like, going to events and, and trying to, like, focus on just, like, not really judging someone for how they're how they act in the water and just trying to kind of be a little more like calm and yeah just and, take care of your own business right? yeah and like we're all there for the same thing so you know like i'm sure people think the same way about me so it's like yeah like I'm, shane dorian like he was a cutthroat guy yeah in contest he actually yeah. would fuck with andy in the very beginnings and i watched him do it at snapper in a couple of ways and they're really, we're all friends, but in the water, Shane just showed no mercy. He yeah. would paddle up his back and fuck with him. And Andy couldn't believe it. He's like, this is my hero. What is he, like, why is he doing this? Yeah. Because Shane had no, it was fucking on. If mm -hmm. you were serving pipe, it didn't matter if you're his best friend. It was fucking, he was getting, he was blinded by it. Right? Yeah. And so I always saw that of Shane and he was just so gangster about it, but it was what worked for him. Yeah. Sometimes it works is to be nice and whatever it does, but you have to find what works. And was Griff working with you at the US? open like strategies and stuff like where on the beach was he like hey surf the peak by the pier and you know this and like, what was the strategies that he was giving you yeah if you don't want to no tell no, people no. About yeah i was well i would like warm up before my heat and get kind of like loose get yeah get ready and then i would come back and griffin was like focused so focused on the water i'd come back and i'd be like what do you think like cool like, so like what what it. yeah where's the zone then he'd be like I've been watching this peak. This peak had like five waves, and I've watched this peak, and this peak had like two waves. I think this peak's gonna be better, yeah, but huge. it could shut down. So like, and I like, tr I've listened to Griffin like my whole life for everything to like become a better surfer. He's basically coached me, so like I trusted him so much, and I'd just be like, okay, cool, and then I'd like watch that zone, and then I'd be like, all right, cool, I'm doing that. Did you ever have to so, scrap your idea because the waves were getting worse and he's telling you, go left, go to the left, go to the left? Oh, uh, we did have one heat where, like, I went out there and we had our zone and right when I went out there, it, like, shut down and kind of changed. 
Um, and then I kind of had to just like adapt on my right. own, you know? I mean, yeah. But, Cause it always has the right by the pier and the left down the yeah. beach and you got to pick and then you hope that your competitor doesn't pick right. Yeah. It's challenging. That's what makes contests so freaking gnarly. And that's why <laughs> Gabe, I respect. Yeah. He doesn't never have a time where he's like sits in the wrong place the whole heat. Yeah. He's like, you know what? Screw it. I'm going to just win over here. Like, yeah. I mean, that's like, what's so crazy about surfing and like surfing contests too, because you could be in a heat and be the best surfer, but, oh yeah, but it's like the ocean's calling the shots. Big yeah. time, yeah. That's why the wave pool thing is so unique. It's almost like laws you to sleep, but it does give the competitors the exact same thing. Yeah, you know? yeah. It's fun. Like Kalani's wave pool looks pretty good. Does it? You got to see that, Blair? Do you, you see any clips of Kalani's? Whew. Yeah, I get to go in a couple of weeks. It's really? it looks. The reason why I love his is because it looks like a pool. Yeah, a swimming pool. Like yeah, it looks yeah. like a pool in the backyard. Yeah. And yeah, I mean, he was just saying that like this is kind of like the momentum house at Pipeline, my mom and everything. But you guys don't have a mom in here, which is kind of nice. Yeah. You just have a, <laughs> a really hot dad. You got a milk. What do they call a dilf? A dilf. <laughs> you got a dilf with like a hot dad. Um, He's gonna be psyched. He said that. Yeah. And do you guys have a bunch of people coming in from like Oz and stuff staying here too? Like, um, I know Mick was here, but he has his own house. Yeah, right? he got his own place. Um. I don't know if any Aussies have stayed here. <laughs> what is that one? <laughs> sick. Yeah. Oh, Rabo. Yeah. Oh, Jack, oh, that's right. That, he was in all those videos. Yeah. Those videos. Thank you, Griff, for that. I love seeing silliness from you guys. Like, yeah, was, uh, they were getting <laughs> crazy for a minute. Where, where, where were they in this? It was like some weird country and they're bored. Other mind it looked like El Salvador uh, El or Salvador, something. Yeah. yeah. Do you guys keep that up, please? Because that was what made the, the Momentum crew fun. Is like even Kelly, when he won his first title... Uh, Taylor's like, I'm gonna put you in a garbage can and we're gonna roll you down a fucking yeah, hill. that's it. And he was like, Really? And then another time he's getting boxed up by a boogie boarder, which uh was pretty funny. Yeah. But I want to see some more comedy out of you guys because you guys are so funny. And I think that's where our culture's f like what hurt not to keep saying this. Herbie's wife said, like, you know, they're always thinking it was gonna turn into a tennis tour, and it mm -hmm. kind of has just gotten so serious, we've lost all the fun. But it, it, it's good where it's at. But I love seeing those videos of Robo and them. It's yeah, so fucking yeah. rad. Yeah. Just to see that competitions mean everything, but you can still have fun. That's kind of what sure. Blair was saying. Like, you guys have a momentum crew here yourself. And it's going to be cool. And yeah. I, I, I'm, I think I'm out of town. I think I'm going to that pool, but Griff's movie's coming out. Yeah. The tri tri trilogy. Oh, yeah. I Taylor think still told me. I think it's coming out. Uh, like I don't really know what the date is, but I think it's premiering it's at Taylor's fucking. Uh, Salento Festival. Oh, no way. Yeah, yeah. Sick. He told me it's premiering on Saturday or something. I'm yeah. going to try to make it, but I think I have something going yeah. on. But uh, right. that's going to be exciting. It's him, Ethan, and Seth, Seth right? Yeah. That's pretty dope. Kind of funny how it works, because it was like, you know, Trilogy was a Billabong movie. Now it's like a Billabong movie, but it's also like, why yeah, Griff on Griff, so. <laughs> Oh, I didn't know yeah. that. Yeah. But what is Seth right for Billabong? So it's yeah, just yeah. Griff that went to Quicksilver. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Well, Whatever. Yeah. Who cares about I mean, no. It, and they're owned by the same company. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah right? It's the Board Writers, the board writers trilogy. trilogy. <laughs> yeah, for sure. But I think that movie should be pretty sick because... Yeah, what do you think about it? Have you seen any clips? It must be nuts. I've seen... Yeah, I've seen some clips from Indo, and then I did a the Africa trip with them, and it was like... Oh, cool. You got on a trip? Yeah. Sick. The setup that they had was, like, ridiculous. Who did Taylor Steele film it? Um, someone else filmed it, I right? think he was kind of like... I think Taylor was maybe... I don't really know... What he was doing, he's probably just like the head directing, of the, yeah, like watching over it. But but they had a big crew. Th yeah, they had a huge crew. They had like there was probably like fifteen guys Whoa. in the filming crew. They had like a drone that uh, took like three guys or four guys to work the drone. And the drone so they was got like mental the size shots. of this table. Yeah, they got some sex. Yeah. yeah. A drone has changed everything, huh? Oh, God, we wish we would have that. We had helicopters at G Land one time. Yeah. And I was with Aki and Taj, and the whole lineup wanted to kill us. It was like, tur, 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 and we got like two shots and it sucked. <laughs> and and then now you guys have these little buzzing tower, like little nuggets. It's so fucked. Yeah, it is. Pretty we, gotta, we had to lay down some tracks for you guys to party. Yeah. And those little <laughs> things are sick. This actually looks like a drone here. Yeah, that? seriously. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's, it's fun. I wonder where it's going to be at in like 20 years from now, you know? You know, you guys should make your own like momentum movie. Like, oh, you know who made it? The, what was it? Snap? Guys? Yeah, yeah. That was kind of like a momentum. Sick, yeah. Were you in that one? You're too young, probably. Uh, no, I wasn't. You guys make make another one of those just of San Clemente guys. Oh, we're actually doing that. Are you? Yeah. yeah. Brothers putting together a two percent movie. Jacob Vanderwerk's going to edit it. So cool. it's like that's kind of why we went to Indo was to get who went to Indo with you. Uh, it was Cade, Jet, Cole, Brody, Sale. Oh, so it's e. all you guys in Brody's. Brody. 
Dorian's little buddy, right? He's yeah. On the big one. Yeah. It's cool to see he's with the right guys. He's, yeah. That's what it takes, man. You just get the right crew sure. and you don't, don't go anywhere else because you guys are going to use, you know, that crew is going to be what's why it's going to work. For, yeah. You guys Having are a tight. good crew is special. Huh? You know. You're yeah. No, I mean, it's everything. Like, honestly, because the one kid's going to be like, hey, I got this trip to here and uh, let's go. And yeah. It's yeah. going to work together if, as long as you guys are good friends. It's, yeah. And it makes it fun. Yeah. Like just seeing Griff have fun as he's the second best surfer in the world right now competitively. It's like, that's when you're supposed to have fun. You know? For sure. You're, you're going to have fun at the end. Like, fuck yeah, you have sure. fun when it's happening. That's yeah. why I enjoyed the whole th process. That's why it lasted so long. I almost had a three decade career yeah. because I had fun. Yeah. Yeah. yeah seriously. All the guys that were all serious lasted like 10 years and they were like, bye bye. It's <laughs> funny. How, yeah. It's funny how that works. Huh? It is. Yeah. It's because people want to be associated with somebody that's enjoying it. Right. Yeah. I and mean, that's what makes it attractive like yeah. it, it, like seeing griff it's attractive to somebody that loves surfing i'm like dude that's that's how you do it and like kelly did it a different way and it worked but it was hard to attach yourself to kelly because he was so like an alien mm. kind of like gabe he's so serious he's like an alien yeah but griff is like everyone wants to have a beer with him and hang out yeah with him, like you know? he's, he's like approachable. A, a person a like, human yeah like, like, literally like your best friend and yeah. that's what he is to everybody like you can kind of look at this stuff and be like oh like i would like to hang out with that totally. guy totally funny and then i don't want to serve with him because he rips too hard yeah <laughs> It's embarrassing on the drive through. I just right when they pile out, I'm like, I'm gonna sit right here and watch. <laughs> <laughs> Kid, it was cool to see that. It was right when he was blowing up. It, it seemed like right. Mm -hmm. The we went to Santa Cruz and all the local guys came down and watched. I'm like, this is the guy. Huh? Like, this kid's gonna be the next thing. And it's cool to see it just keeps getting better for him. Hopefully, if I wear the hat and get down there with pom poms, he'll win this thing. Yeah, you gotta get good down karma. There, I will. I'm not too far enough. I can ride an e bike up from where I'm down in San Diego, just the whole way. Yeah, yeah, but the the party after is where it's gonna. Oh, be. I can't even imagine what you guys are yeah, gonna do. Yeah. Oh, but what's the one tonight? You guys are. Chloe said you guys are doing some tonight. Yeah, it's like we're because brother made like some more shirts too, and they're actually kind of funny. It's like you know the sh the movie The Shine, and then there's like the guy who's like coming yeah. through, and it's like um, here's Johnny, here's Johnny. Yeah, 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 yeah. they made a photo. It's like Griffin putting his face through like a door and then it's like here's griffin <laughs> rad yeah There's he's like got a cool funny shit. face gun i love how you guys are all getting behind him too this is gonna almost i hope it doesn't give him too much pressure i mean there's a yeah. lot of pressure on this yeah. little guy i mean fuck he's been working on his mental so it's like perfect perfect way and to he's been surfing it. all day every day yeah huh? yeah pretty much yeah. yeah yeah i mean it's it's one thing to be like living at uh, just some surf spot, but if you're the surf spot's your home and you get to surf for the world title, psycho, <laughs> it's insane. Yeah. Like this is one of those things when he was in elementary school dreaming about it, drawing that wave that we all drew like, yeah, yeah. and going like, I'm going to win a world title at my home. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right, buddy. Yeah. It's pretty incredible. Well, it might happen. <laughs> I think he's like the, it's obviously sick. He's going for a world title, but I think he's just psyched that he gets to surf Lars because when he got on the, Started doing the primes. That's when lowers like moved out of the primes. You know, oh, they right. took it away. And then right when he got on the CT that year, they took away the CT. Oh no! So, he so was, he's never surfed out there. In a not in, he's done like nationals and stuff, but like, not a CT. But not like a CT. Holy but, like cows. a big event. You know, that's gonna be fun to watch. So I think he's psyched for that. Oh, that's cool. Oh, he's sick. What else you got over there, Garley? Uh -huh. <laughs> this is it. Just keep going. Um. Let's see, I mean, I feel like you're traveling, like, all the time. I feel like whenever you post stuff, it's never waves, for, like, from the U.S. It's from some other far-off country somewhere. Yeah. So what would your perfect surf trip be? Shit, Lakeys. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it's the for best wave ever, I think. Fuck. I think yeah. it's the best. It's hard to beat. I think, like, doing, like, a boat trip, though. Yeah. The boat, like, doing a boat trip is sick. It's because you're on a boat. Yeah, you're basically, you're just, It's like a house just floating in the ocean, and then you can go to, like, these different islands that would take – a while but that you go at night and then you wake up at this perfect wave and you're, you're just so like, right that's my favorite surf right trip. It's, yeah it's then you like, always have that beer at the top of the boat yeah. and watch the sunset yeah. sunburnt and tired and then you get to after the sunset you watch the clips with your boys laughing and yeah and then you get the best dinners made for you yeah yeah there's psycho. nothing like a boat trip yeah. and when yeah. you like when you surf you're like if you're hungry you go in and eat real quick and then you go straight back out so it's just like ideal it's not That's ideal so for photographers. No, I think no, we no, were talking no, about that. Not. I think on a podcast or Taylor Steele was talking about it on something about how we would drop him off at the beach and he wouldn't have, he had a boogie board with the case and go over dry reef. Yeah. And then he had to sit on the beach all day. Cause every time he was waved for food, another guy would jump off the boat to go back out. He's like, ah, yeah. And they would be there all day with mosquitoes and fucking tribal people. And 
Yeah, that's not a good gig, but for us, let's go. Yeah, yeah. Well, our go. our buddy Jacob Vanderwerk, who's like always filming us, we went on our boat trip that we did, and and he was at Macaroni's, and he had to go swim in with his case and that's stuff. That's a hard one to get in. So he went in, yeah, he went in with his case, and then he got up on the tower, and like when he opened the tower, there was water in the, oh, uh, no, pelican. the pelican. So then his batteries were like foaming, foaming, and, shit. and then it like was like popping and stuff and he went and like had to throw it off the tower because it was going to blow up and it got in the water and we just went poof it blew up yeah oh and and God. then it was like one of his red cameras was busted oh, so no and we look in and we just hear him going fuck oh like just God. like losing it dude we were at the 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 himalaya session where we all went over the wave oh yeah and uh what ryan 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 moss moss is yeah the one that broke his back yeah and the kid brought the his camera to our boat we had the big yellow boats my yeah. brother's boat and he brought it to us and he goes hey this is ryan's camera it was soaked right it was a red oh and it was broken in half because where they jumped in the air it snapped and yeah. it was destroyed oh and he was going to the hospital he didn't even know and we were the guy that films john john uh his boy eric yeah was eric he? he was going through it trying to save it and he was like oh. and i go it's done huh and he's like it's fucking done <laughs> I was just like, oh, not only is he broke his back, but his red. I don't know how yeah. expensive those are. Uh, you would know. 50 They're grand. 50 yeah. grand. Yeah. Oh, my God. And, yeah, that happens. So I wonder if it was fizzing, too. I didn't fuck with it. But you think for a camera sad. that's so expensive, they wouldn't have, like, all the fans exposed? Yeah, I know. So it's like my, my boss had one. He was standing in ankle-deep water. Just I can't remember what he was filming. And he said he saw, like, a wave, like, broke, like, on his ankle, mm -hmm. and he saw one droplet come off of the wave, go up, and go straight into one of the oh. vents, fried the entire camera. Wow. What? That's crazy. Yeah, really? one drop. No, oh, thanks. So that's all it takes. <laughs> no, you just came to the wave pool with that crazy camera. I don't know what that's called. Oh, yeah, the um, free fly ember. It, it's the oh. one that's above red. Oh. It's a thousand frames a second yeah. or something. Well, it's not above red. It's a particularly like a slow motion camera. Oh, okay. I think it's, it's like, the ones that they shot at Chopu, right? Where it's just like... Just super yeah, slow. it's probably stuff like yeah. that. And there's like a few different cameras I can do. This. There's like the Phantom, which is like the big name one that a lot mm. of people use. Yeah. So, uh, my boss was on like the kind of test pilot program for this camera, uh. but this one's special because it's it weighs I think like three pounds, yeah, little, five right? pounds built versus like the Phantom, which is what most people use, is Huge. crazy like heavy. It takes a couple different people to set up, and like mm. like I would never be able to run a Phantom on my own, but this camera is super manageable it's really portable but when you see like the clips that come off of it when you first look at it we have it playing in our office now just like his reel of the surf ranch on a loop when you first walk <laughs> in you look at it you're like oh that's a cool picture and then you like look back at it you're like wait that picture's moving like a teeny yeah, teeny yeah. little bit right. yeah. you got to shoot kelly with it the other day he brought it to the ranch it. yeah and it's it. the first time that's ever had a water case right for that was it the, oh, that was sick. the second time the sick. or i guess third time first time was shooting com a commercial in my neighbor's pool for tiktok it was like yeah. dogs jumping in the pool oh uh, yeah which was sick you get some views oh yeah <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, and then, our little promo video on our Instagram. Oh, it's yeah. us jump me, Donovan, and yeah, her with his his thing. We all jump at the same time, I think. And it were so yeah. slow that he pans and we're all still in the air yeah. for like five minutes. It's fucking yeah. cool. And he like whipped it. it across like, oh, yeah. really fast. Yeah. Yeah. His movement just, was like Yeah, it's pretty insane. That. It was so it's the sick. future for yeah. her. Kelly's wave was the third time it had ever been used yeah. in the housing. And the housing itself is tiny. Heavy. Oh, it's heavy? Because usually they're like pretty decently like dynamic like in the water if you have like a cannon or something like that where it can mold pretty easily to it but when you have something like the ember it has to have a monitor and like mm. this extra big battery pack on it so the and they're usually neutrally buoyant like they're like you can usually i know greg you know greg browning yeah yeah um he would always tell me he's like yeah like it's not he's like it's not even a big deal when you're in the water holding that thing so he's like i would literally just sit on my housing and i'd float oh really like oh, yeah. they're so easy buoyant. to hold but this one for the ember, for whatever reason, was made really thick. Mm. So it's heavy and it'll sink. Yeah. So my boss oh, is like trying to drag it up and hold oh, it. And yeah. he's like, the whole thing probably weighs like 15 pounds and yeah. it's not buoyant. Yeah. So you're holding that up the you whole time. You definitely don't want to be a backdoor with it. It sounds like. Oh, God. <laughs> like <it's No>. smoked. <laughs> or even it's like if you go under a wave and you're getting worked, it's debating oh. between, okay, do I let go of the camera and just lose, you know, 20 grand, whatever? Or do I hold onto it and chance like, can clock yourself in the head yeah, with yeah, it yeah. and knock yourself out and then yeah. you could 
lose yeah. yourself and a camera. Yeah, camera. seriously. So when I was young, I was on the golf team when I was at Kahuku, right? And I brought my clubs with me. Uh-huh. I was really into golf. And I'd bring like six clubs and put them in my board bag and they'd always dig my boards and shit. And all my friends, especially Kelly, would be like, what are you doing? And I'm like, I'm going golfing. And we'd be in like Reunion Island. And I'd be like, it'd be windy on shore. And I'd be like, I'm going golfing. And they're like, what? And I'm like, yeah, there's killer golf courses here. And I started golfing on tour. Yeah. And uh, and then Kelly got really into it, obviously. What's going on now? Every the Do they still do the Golf Geeks tour? I mean, uh, what are the boys called? Golf Geek? They don't do that anymore. Yeah. Is it? Did you guys do it last winter? Yeah. Sick. It's, it's so neat to see. You're part of it, right? Um, kind of. You're just getting right, involved. I'm like just kind of getting, getting into it. it. But it's so Probably. cool to see that you guys are all doing it. You don't bring on tour clubs, though, right? Uh, no, but maybe I I will like, but I mean, when I went to Hawaii last year, I brought them. Well, yeah, Hawaii for sure. But yeah, it's like, I wonder it's all, is all the San Clemente kids into it? Yeah. We're Jeff was uh, at the tournament the other day. Jets into it. Cole's like kind of, he'd smoke it it if he hit it. That guy's a monster. (laughs) And then uh, you and Griff have a mean little game going, huh? Yeah. Griff and I are pretty even. So it's like a perfect little, like. Match. Like, yeah, it's yeah. a perfect guy to play with. It's so then. fun. It's such a good way to get away from surfing, too, and it just is. do stuff. And your guys' course here, I love. Yeah, it's a San Clemente Country Muni. Club or San Clemente Municipal. Yeah. I love that shit. Yeah, it's fun and it's healthy and it doesn't hurt. Mm, you know? Yeah, I mean, yeah. I, I cut my finger off. I've had all these injuries and I can still golf. Yeah. You can, you can golf no matter what, what happens. Like, you can blow out your knee and you still hobble out there and fucking still have something to yeah. do. The injury. <laughs> Uh, hopefully doesn't get you guys, but the way people are healed nowadays, oh my God. Yeah. I, bl- I blew out my ankle ligament. It took like a year and a half for me to be ro- totally fine. Yeah. Now it's like three months, yeah. four months. So. Well, now that you got stem cells, like oh, totally. you can heal from basically anything. Yeah, it's yeah. pretty crazy. And you have saunas and ice baths out there. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so sick. I still feel really good from that thing. It felt like a drinking an espresso. Are you levitating? Yeah, I'm just like, <laughs> it's kind of wearing off. I might go head first next time. Yeah. <laughs> I couldn't get my neck in. Oh, I'll be yeah. honest. I was like this, just holding like, oh, but, like <laughs> I didn't even do it. I cheated. Yeah. <laughs> but dude, I'm psyched that you finally are on tour and we're just going for you. Well, I'm, I'm not jinxing it. I'm yeah, not jinxing it. Close. <laughs> well, you're going to do it, bro. Like you got the Portugal wave. If you get swell, it'll be good for your forehand. Yeah. And yeah. then Brazil, you never know what's going to happen there. Yeah, you never know. Uh. But keep, you, keep the positivity going. Is Griff going to go? Uh, he was actually thinking about thinking it. about it? I remember last year when the tour was done, he went on, like, a trip to, like, Idaho or something with a couple of buddies and, right. and just, like, went back there just to, like, not think about surfing. So maybe he would go there and just, like, chill. chill and Yeah, but, and it's cool there now. Yeah. I can't believe it. When I went to Aracera when I was little, there was just that little teeny center of town. Mm. And when I went two weeks ago, I was like, what is happening? That Quicksilver Skate Park and yeah, everything. I was like, this is insane. It's so different. It's cheap. Yeah, super It's cheap. so affordable, and food's the people, good. the food's amazing. Yeah. Yeah, that's definitely kind of the coolest place right now. A lot of people move there, too. I've met a bunch of Americans that live there. Yeah. But, yeah, so we're, we're big big rooting for Griff, but I'd be just as psyched to see you make the tour. Oh, thanks. Just so you and him and could be battling on tour. Yeah, it's I so know, fun right? to watch. I'll stick with that. That's going to be dope. I would maybe be... Yeah, would maybe paddling, <laughs> up, paddling your brother up the point. Yeah. Just... <laughs> I get you. you shouldn't have got me into this. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's so good. Uh, I love it. Yeah, I'd be psyched to do that. Well, we're big, we're big fans of you, bro. And we're psyched that you're on the potty. And uh, I don't know if Annie does have anything else to say. We'll let him get back to doing push-ups. <laughs> yeah, yeah, what do you yeah. Think? yeah, I think that's pretty much all I got yeah, for the sick. day, dude. Thanks yeah. so much, Cross. Dude, and, thanks, uh, thanks for, for being the, the big potty. little brother. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, let's do this. Let's do okay? it. Okay, I'll see you down at the beach with pom poms. Probably, and you guys are thinking the Connors isn't going to run the first day. Huh? Maybe, yeah, maybe like Saturday or Sunday. I'm thinking. But it's the f- the first day of the waiting period. The is, eighth, I think that's that Friday. Friday, so yeah. Saturday maybe. Cool. And what does the swell look like? Three, four feet. That's a good. It looks size. like no. It looks like it could be sick. Like there's kind of like a weird hurricane like sitting out there that it's like could What's be. What's going good. on with be- California? I don't know. Hurricanes, it rained yesterday awesome. in San Diego. Some like, crazy shit going yeah, on. Yeah, which is kind of dope. When people say it's global warming, I'm like, good. It <laughs> yeah, looks like yeah. it's working. Yeah. <laughs> we're, getting, we're getting little hurricane swells and shit. Oh, uh, yeah. That's dope. So keep it coming. Keep it coming. <laughs> and uh, yeah, let's go, Griff. And let's go, Crosby. Fuck yeah. Both of you guys. Uh, thanks, buddy. Yeah, thank cool. you. Thanks for listening. Listen, thanks, buddy.